Come with me to Max Mara. In today's video, I will be trying three of the icon codes. I have been meaning to add one of the iconic codes from Max Mara for the longest time, but unable to decide which one to get. Maybe you can help. And uh, like any other luxury brands, Max Mara is no different, and the price of their iconic codes just keep going up. And before we get started, just for reference, I'm 5'2 and weigh about 120 pounds. Starting with the Manuela code. This is a wrap style coat made with 100% camel hair. Here I'm wearing US size 2, which translates to IT size 36, and I think it's a good size on me. And uh, the color that I'm trying on is the classic camel color, but it does come in a bunch of different uh, classic uh, colors. This coat comes with its uh, matching belt and belt loops. It is fully lined and uh, I think this is the most fitted of all the three coats uh, that I tried today. Looks very classy and elegant, something that will not date. It also has a button near the neck which uh, can be buttoned up if it gets uh, too cold. And uh, belted or not, both the ways I think it looks uh, good. The material is really nice and feels very soft to, add, to touch. Uh, currently, it retails for three thousand four hundred and fifty US dollars. Also, the most economical of the three coats. <laughs> Next, we have the Madame coat, aka the Icon coat or uh, 101801 coat. This is the best selling coat of the fashion house. It features an oversized design. It is fully lined and uh, it does come with its matching belt but uh, no belt lobes. It is uh, double breasted and it's made of 90% virgin oil and 10% uh, cashmere. Here I'm trying it in a size 2 and I think it fits me perfectly. This shade is uh, called the classic camel color, but I felt the color to be a bit uh, muted compared to the other ca camel colors, so wasn't sure if it looked as good on me. Anyways, this coat looks good both open and belted, and uh, folding the sleeves or bunching it up and belting it gives it a very casual look which makes it a perfect day to night outerwear. Then uh, I also decided to, to try it in a different color. This color is called uh, the tobacco color and I believe it is a newer addition to their range of classic uh, colors but it is very nice and here I'm trying it in a size 4 which again I think it looks okay on me. So I believe it really boils down to the personal preference as to if you like an over oversized look or just an oversized look. And uh, currently it retails for 4350 US dollars. Pretty steep huh? And lastly, we have the Ludmilla code, previously known as the Labrador code. This is the most expensive of the bunch and currently retails for 6,890 US dollar. That's like a wow. <laughs> it is made of cashmere and it is double layered cashmere, which explains the price. And the material is super or Actually, I must say uber luxurious and it has this stunning sheen to it. So just by looking at it, one can tell that it is expensive. This coat does come with its matching belt, uh, but no belt loops and it is also not lined. It uh, features A-line design and has kimono sleeves and in my opinion, it is the most feminine coat of all the iconic coats that I tried. And uh, I'm trying on a size 2 and it fits me perfectly. It looks beautiful and I feel expensive in it. Again, it looks good both belted or not. And really I have nothing more to say about it besides it is beautiful. 
So all in all, all the coats are beautiful, but I think my favorite is the Madame. I just love how effortless it looks. Let me know which one is your favorite and if you have one of these coats in your wish list. Bye, and I will see you in my next one. Mwah!